Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. On this channel, I like to showcase the automotive culture and the positive impact it has on the community. If this is your first time here, if you're an automotive enthusiast or you like anything about cars, please be sure to hit that subscribe button for future videos. Uh, quickly today, I wanted to give you guys a tool cart tour. So the tool cart that I have is a Harbor Freight tool cart. A lot of manufacturers like Husky are using a very similar tool cart. The main point of today's video is to give you guys creative ideas on how you guys can store your tools in a more efficient manner. The tool cart serves me as 90% of the tools that I use if I'm working on my car or anything even around the house. In my large toolbox, what I'll do is I will use that for items that I very rarely use, like storage items, right? Like I never throw away screws or bolts or anything like that. I always store them and I keep them organized because they do come in hand. So enough talking, you guys didn't come here to, to see me talk. Let's jump in the garage and I will show you guys my tool cart. All right guys, so here's the tool cart. Um, just to give you guys kind of a tour on the top from the outside first, what I've done is just got some workout material on top so that if I have something that I'm trying to lay on there, um, it works as a like a mobile bench as well. This stuff is awesome. It's just that typical like workout foam floor material that you find. Just cut it to size and that was that. Um, and then what I've done is um, I've put uh, two Lotusol magnetic uh, mats on here um, so that this becomes magnetic completely. Um, we'll get back to that, uh, but this is the outside. Um, if I want to turn it around. All right, so here on the side, um, this would be the left-hand side of the tool cart itself. Um, what I've done is, is I've installed these uh, hooks um, and these are called performance lock hooks. I think I got these from um, like Home Depot or something like that. Um, had some extras laying around, so I drilled them, drilled holes for it first, and then um, just a nut and bolt on each of the pillars. You know, obviously I've invested in the uh, Milwaukee uh, ecosystem, so um, I always keep these on the side of the tool cart. Um, that way I don't have to keep running back and forth, back and forth to uh, my pegboard or anything like that. I have the 3 8 uh, uh, ratchet. Um, and then I have the, the M12 uh, stubby um, torque. This one is amazing. Um, if I would recommend any of the uh, Milwaukee, um, the brushless ones, this one, the stubby uh, torque wrench is, is phenomenal for um, almost everything. Um, I do have like the big uh, 900 pound torque, nut busting, whatever. Uh, other torque wrench on my um, on my pegboard, but this one for really almost everything around the car um, will work out great. Um, and then obviously you need to torque it to spec. Uh, but stubby I love. Obviously the the driver I love as well. And then the the ratchet works really well. Um, what I've done in this kind of uh, valley. So since I have all my half inch stuff, you'll see uh, when I open up the lid on this side, um, I've put my um, you know, my big lug nut uh, sockets here. Um, I have a couple swivels and a couple uh, different adapters. Um, uh, basically a half inch to a three quarter and then a half inch to a three eighths adapter. And then this is uh, the swivel. And what I've done is I've bolted it in, but um, I put a, um, I had like just, I had some socket uh, holder strip or whatever for, for half inch uh, sockets. So all I did was I bolted that holder to the actual uh, tool cart so it doesn't move around. And I know that these won't go anywhere. And then I believe, I think these ones lock, like if you put the, the pinion, yeah. So this one locks. So if it's moving around or whatever, um, it'll hold it in place. So that's it for this side. Um, this stuff is all inside the tool lid, which I'll, I'll get to. So this is the back side of the tool cart. Um, I've put magnetic uh, strips from Harbor Freight. These ones that are super, super strong. Um, I put my half inch torque wrench um, and then also my half inch uh, breaker bar in the back here. 
Um, so that obviously corresponds with um, the things that we just discussed on the side of the, the tool cart, all the half inch stuff. So, I mean, it holds it pretty good. I, forgot, I got two of them here um, and these don't move. And these have always been kind of like, and it, you know, t two big tools that I would like to always keep on the tool cart so that if I'm taking off wheels and I need to retorque them or anything like that, I have everything that I need pretty much in this tool cart. So um, yeah, so th that's a huge help. Um, this is something I did recently um, and it worked. Um, I don't, it doesn't fall off or when I set it up against the wall or anything like that, it doesn't go anywhere. I also added these two uh, magnetic hooks um, and I believe these, are, yeah, these are also from Harbor Freight. I think you get them for like 10 bucks or whatever. Um, and so I told myself the older I get, you know, the more safety stuff that I, I need to remember to use. So um, I just got some 3M earmuffs um, for, you know, if I'm torquing something down um, or working, you know, something loud, obviously in the garage. Uh, PPE is important. Um, have a little headlamp right here and then um, a respiratory mask. Um, right there, not necessarily for COVID, but um, you know, if I'm sanding something or you know, working with, with specific fumes or something like that, um, those have two cartridges on the side that um, uh, that filtrate a lot of the uh, uh, larger particles from aerosols and stuff like that. So keep that there. Um, we'll keep moving along. All right, so again, these this is um, that side lid that you can get from Harbor Freight. Um, so what I've done, I've gotten that, but then what I've also done is I've installed, so what I've done is I've just, I've bolted on this, on this pillar right here, I've bolted a, a magnet, um, one of the, the 12 inch uh, magnet strips from Harbor Freight. Um, and then what that does is that instead of this tool lid, um, or you know, the side table or whatever, um, avoiding it from from flopping around when it's on the side like if you're rolling it around that was the one annoying thing is that this would flop around what I've done is I put in a magnet so that when this closes um, it attracts to that magnet and I close it and then um, it's good enough for when I'm rolling it around but when I want to take it off there's a little bit of tension there but nothing serious that you can't do um, and then also what I've done under here uh, you know, you gotta have these. Um, these are super important, just always having it around. So I put those there. I put all my three eighths and quarter inch. Oh, this doesn't wanna come off. Now. I put all my, my quarter inch and three eighth extensions here. Um, and I have this on a, just a generic holder. Um, and like you see, it's it works okay. Uh, they do lock. Um, that one was not locked, so. Um, this is also nice to get um, once we dig into the sockets I'll I'll show you guys which um, which socket storage set I use um, but yeah so all my quarter inch and three eighths extensions adapters wobbles stay right there um, and let's uh, let's pop open the lid all right let's go open into the lid um, so really quick um, I didn't I mentioned this a little bit earlier, but um, I use these Lotusol tool magnet tool holders. Uh, these mats, they're they're absolutely phenomenal, very um, adjustable, and you'll see how versatile they really are in the tool cart. Um, this one, I will I'll post all the uh, all the information of majority of the tools at least that I can find online um, in the description for you guys to check out. But um, these are, so two Lotus Hall mats. So what I like to do is I have my bit holder, so I'll keep that there. Um, and this is kind of the tool, the, the part tray. So what I like to do here and keep this open, I used to have all my sockets in here, uh, but what I found myself doing is I would end up having like a part on top of the lid and then I'd be like, oh, like I need a 12 millimeter or whatever. And then I have to remove the part, get the socket, close the lid back, put the part back on. So it was really inconvenient when I was working on, on the car. Um, so what I've done is, is that I completely emptied out this bay so that if a part comes in or I need to work on something, it goes in here and everything else that I have around it will um, help with, uh, yeah, fixing it or repairing it, whatever the case may be. But this stays empty. Um, I also put another foam pad in here 
you see marks in here i have a stack of you know these foam pads so if i'm drilling something or whatever the case may be i'm not worried about scratching the surface at all um above or sorry we'll start with the sides so on the left hand side um, what i've done is i've drilled extra holes or bigger holes for all my half inch uh, ratchets um, so what i have in here is an extended uh, the half inch Harbor Freight, which works really, really well. The snap on copycat. Uh, and what I've done is underneath um, where I had those Milwaukee tools, um, I cut basically uh, another hole on that second layer. Um, you can see it right here. What I've done is I've just, I, I cut that out so that these long ratchets can fit all the way down and sit flush so that when I shut the lid to put the cart away, um, you know, there's, it, it, it sits flush. So, so I have the Harbor Freight half inch. I have some clutch half inch that I got a long time ago when I first got tools. Um, and then I have a Craftsman that my dad gave me. So I'll definitely keep that one. This is like the OG Craftsman that everyone has. So thanks pops. Um, and then, yeah, just some other miscellaneous um, half inch stuff. So all my extensions, all my, my wobbles for my half inch. Um, and then I have like a super long 3 8 um, in the back here. That does become a pain to get, but I think it's like a 24 inch or something like that. No, sorry, 18 inch, 24 inch. Uh, about an 18 inch 3 8 extension. Very rarely use that, but that's why it stays up here. Um, so yeah, so that's all my half inch stuff, um, corresponded with all the half inch, uh, all the other half inch stuff that you saw on my Milwaukee tool holder side. Um, moving on to the right hand side, this is where I keep all my screwdrivers. Um, so I've marked the, the, the end of the nubs, uh, end of the handles to signify if it's a Phillips or a flat. So, um, many different sizes, um, the screwdrivers that I use. Um, are the Craftsman ones. These ones are nice, they're magnetic at the tip. Um, and then also, I, I can't remember where I got these ones from, but they've kind of just stayed in the, in the tool cart. I have one uh, Vessel uh, screwdriver. And if you guys don't know about Vessel, um, they are a very high-end Japanese uh, tool manufacturer. Um, so all I can afford is this. <laughs> but um, what it is, is that on Japanese cars, it's not a regular Phillips. And so a lot, it's more of like the star Phillips and that, that really seats fully into the screw um, that we may think is a Phillips, but on any Japanese cards, cars, um, it's this tip uh, actually. It's, it's a, P, a PZ2, there's different sizes that I have, but um, yeah, this is like the correct tool to use when working on a Japanese car and you're working with anything that we think is Phillips. So this is a vessel, just a regular screwdriver. Um, but yeah, you can pop this off and put it in different sizes and stuff like that. So that's that. All right, so moving up to the tool lid now, um, or the underside of the tool lid. So um, yeah, you always gotta have one of the magnetic uh, catchers or whatever it's called, mine broke. So <laughs> I need to get a new one. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, gotta have one of those. I usually keep it down there. Um, so yeah, underneath the tool lid um, are these Carlisle double-ended box wrenches. And um, so if you guys haven't ever used these, um, these are a complete lifesaver. There's a box end on one and there's a flush side on, on the other side. Um, and they're ratcheting, ratcheting as well. Um, so there's a different, there's a few different types of sets. I got the metric set just because I usually work on, everything is basically metric now. Um, and so a lot of the cards that I ever have worked on have, have been in my, uh, metric. So these are super, super strong. Um, I can't like express how strong and how much torque these are. Like if you're working on like suspension components, um, components that like it's hard to reach, whatever the case may be, or if something is like behind, like if it's behind there, you need to hold it and then, you know, zip it off or whatever the case may be. This works out really good. Um, or if you're, you know, yeah, it just, it works really good, especially with like, I found it very, very helpful with uh, suspension stuff, but um, even like 
it like this one, this small eight millimeter, like when I was putting in like, it, uh, when I was installing like a lot of these like mods, um, I would put the eight millimeter, you know, right like this and then behind whatever pillar I was drilling in to put in a screw, I would just use that to hold it. And then I would just zip it on um, like that from the other side. So um, yeah, these are, these are awesome. I'll, I'll definitely link um, these down in the description um yeah and then i got you know some some stubby uh wrenches as well just metric as well so these are always nice because it's right here like if i'm working on something i'm usually going to need one of those um a socket and you know I'll, I'll be plenty busy um what else so moving on here some more um more drivers for that japanese tool for the the vessel japanese tool some adapters and extension um, this I like to use. I, I got this freshman year of my undergrad in my uh, one of my engineering classes, um, and it's still the same one. So, and it still works. Um, I think uh, batteries. The batteries suck on these, especially in the winter time. Yeah, that's that's too bad. <laughs> so obviously I don't use it enough. <laughs> but yeah, so that's that. Um, I have an adjustable wrench there. Got some picks um a little small file or whatever but just miscellaneous stuff um i'll be reviewing these lotus all mats that they're on um and i'll actually be doing a giveaway um so if you're not following me on on instagram um definitely follow me on instagram um and make sure that you're subscribed and you have your notifications on so that you can get notified when I do announce the official giveaway for these. Um, I've worked with Lotusol specifically um, and they are doing a very, very generous giveaway. So uh, stay tuned for that. That will be out on the next video. Um, these things are an absolute lifesaver. I mean, it is a little bit pricey, um, but as you can see, like it's so much cleaner. Um, it's just, I don't know, for, for, for other people who are as OCD as I am, I feel like you will really appreciate these mats. Um, and then if you wanted to just buy them, um, you're better off going to their website and using boosted MPLS as a discount code and that will get you 10% off. Um, but yeah, so enough talking about those right now. I'll get into that in a di different video. Um, let's get in the drawers. All right, so first drawer on the right is my driver accessories. Um, once you have a label maker and your OCD like I am, um, you will have a ball. So I've labeled all of, <laughs> I've labeled everything. I labeled all the different drawers. So first drawer, um, like I said, driver accessories, just a bunch of miscellaneous, um, some step up drill bits, um, some of these file things. These things are a lifesaver, especially if you're modding this card. <laughs> um, these are just, you know, bits that you can put on your uh, drill. Um, it's made for, for wood, but also works on metal. So all different types of drill bits. Um, I have this, I have this speed out. This, I, I don't know. I don't know if, comment, comment below if you guys have actually had success with this. Um, I can't say that I recommend it. If you have a stripped uh, screw or anything like that, you know, you're supposed to drill it out with one side and then um, basically flip it and then extract it. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm just doing it wrong or what, but um, I really haven't had too much success um, using this on some strip bolts. I end up just drilling them out. Um, so yeah, stubby driver, have his DeWalt um, gyrometric. It's based on the momentum of your wrist and if you want to go left or right, whatever. Uh, quarter inch driver for um, quarter inch sockets. And then a slew of uh, driver stuff for this guy so oh by far the best all-in-one kit was this Ryobi kit um, literally like if I have um, anything that I'm working on in the house I literally grab this and I grab my driver my Milwaukee driver and I get I can get the job done 99% of the time I mean this has absolutely everything this is Definitely my go, like the all-in-one kit, this would be it. Um, I'll see if I can find it, but um, yeah. Uh, yeah, this thing is awesome. I, I don't use this side as much, but it's more so this side. But nonetheless, this uh, this little kit by Ryobi 
I want to say it was like a 108 piece kit or something like that, but um, that one is absolutely phenomenal. All right, moving on, just a miscellaneous drawer. Um, and I also have my quarter inch uh, torque wrench and also my 3 8 torque wrench conveniently conveniently um, stored in here so if you do have the Harbor Freight these are Harbor Freight um, torque wrenches obviously uh, I know it's not the best but for what I was trying to, to get accomplished um, that's what I could afford at that time and then I have like pry bars here um, just different types of pry bars clip pry bars um, just miscellaneous stuff terminal cleaner for our batteries um, yeah keep all my pens here brushes um, this is the blue driver um, I don't know if any of you guys use this but this is uh, a nice little OBD2 port um, it diagnoses you know majority of, of, of check engine lights and stuff like that uh, pressure meter um, I keep that for my tires when I go on a track day a little notepad and that's about it next up is my pliers drawer and wrenches hammers some vice grips and then some uh, god I forgot what these are called but these are like if you have a pin in your caliper or anything like that um, this is usually helpful to knock that pin off solid end on the on the other side these are really nice um, I have this plier holder um, I got a bunch of different types of pliers in there um, I have all my big ones um, I have angled pliers I have um, this is a nice little tool for popping off clips um, especially on Nissan um, yeah so you could you basically have the base on the bottom and then you put the clip in between here and then you just pop it off so that's a nice little tool um, so yeah so angled uh, pliers straight extended pliers a big wire cutter and then I have a bunch of these um, different hose uh, pliers um, and that's essentially for hoses um, another, this is another good clip. Um, if you have like for body panel clips or whatever, this is really nice. Um, slightly angled as you can see. Um, and so what it'll do is it'll just slightly get underneath it and then pop up if it's like a push up clip. Hard to explain. <laughs> a couple different pliers, um, straight and angled as well. Um, this is, Probably one of my favorite wire cutters is uh, made by Milwaukee. Uh, this one right here, really, really nice. And then a must have, um, <laughs> flush cuts. So these, if you can see, these have a slight, they have a, a very, very, very sleek tip where it'll flush cut your zip ties. Must have. Um, what else do I have here? Uh, these Milwaukee Vice Grips, these guys, uh, these torque lock ones are absolute lifesavers. These are some of the strongest grips that I've ever had um, with, these, with these Vice Grips. The nice thing too is that this end is adjustable so you can you tighten it up this way and you really, really like slow, you can, any size bolt. It'll get to any size bolt, round, whatever strip, doesn't matter. This thing will clamp on it like super, super hard. So these are really, really nice to have. Oh. Um, and then this one I just, I got when I was younger and uh, yeah, it still works. This is the, what, the Irwin one. Um, this one's still a very, very good one. Very good vice grip. Adjustable one at least. Um, and then I have these wrenches. Um, if you guys are interested in this organizer, um, it is, so this organizer right here is called the Toolbox Widget. Um, super nice, magnetic. Um, you know, they sent me different uh, labels um, for metric, or they sent me labels for, for metric. Uh, the gentleman who makes these and manufactures these 
um, is a super, super nice guy. This is what it is, veteran owned business, uh, made in the USA. Uh, so it comes like in these modular little clips um, and they can clip together. Like I said, I only have metric, so um, I've only have, you know, metric wrenches in there. So um, super nice, I have some extra. Um, really, really nice, you know, if you're organizing it just for wrenches specifically. Uh, screwdrivers too, that works as well. You can have it in there as well. Um, I've seen that happen. But yeah, that's it for the, that first drawer. All right, so that's it for this drawer. And now for my favorite drawer. So the way this tool cart is built is that this bottom, what I figured out, cause I used to have all my sockets in here. And like I, was, like I mentioned before, but it just ended up being inconvenient, like I said. And what I've done is I put all my ratchets and stuff in here now. Um, and it's been a life changer. <laughs> so what, what, what I was about, to, what I was about to say is, so this drawer is a little bit deeper than this one and these. Um, so I didn't realize that when I first got it and I never really saw people putting their, their ratchets in here. I think a lot of people were afraid that it wouldn't really hold, um, but it holds the weight very, very well. Um, and so, so yeah, what I've done is I have every single ratchet, well, not every single, but every metric in in quarter three eighth half in here so in this bottom corner i just have adapters and then i have um e-torx so i have those um and then i've labeled them all so this is a, a 20 an e20 and then i have my torx um so i have all the way from t8 to t60 my torx um and then these are just whoa, these are just nyko uh torques they work for me i don't need any super high-end um torques um the the tool the the holder or the organizer that i'm using is the ernst um tool rail or ratchet rails um they are completely customizable as well um you can put screwdrivers they have ratchet holders um i didn't need any of that I made my own, um, but nonetheless, let's just go online. And then I have my Allens over here. Um, and then these are just Husky brand from three to 10. Then I got these little turbo extractors. Um, so basically if, if you have a strip uh, bolt or anything like that, um, it, it has teeth that go diagonal that will eat into the bolt and then hook onto it and then you're able to remove it. These I've had success with. So yeah, I have quarter inch uh, shallows here, shorter, uh, uh, quarter inch uh, deep sockets here. Um, I have, these are, oh, these are my pass through. Yeah, these are my, I have pass through sockets. Um, once we get to my ratchets, I'll show you what they're for, but um, yeah, exactly what it sounds like. You, you pass through it. <laughs> So if you have like suspension work that has like a, a sensor and a cable that you're trying to remove like a strut um, and you need to hold a bolt or um, or if you have like a bolt that has like an Allen that's within it so that you need another uh, Allen to get through it. These come in handy. These are very, very handy for me. So yeah, if you wanted to, I mean, you can fit everything in this drawer. Um, that's why I love this, this tool cart. So yeah, so I basically, the way I've organized it is that I have like my specialty sockets here, quarter inch deep and shallow. Um, you know, my three eighth takes up three rows, um, shallow and deep. And then my half inch takes up two rows, uh, my shallows and deeps. And then I have these swivels here um, on its own, you know, little uh, organizer as well. So if I wanted to take it to the car or anything like that, I could. All right, so now for my ratchet. So I keep all my quarter inch and three eighth ratchets. Um, I basically, I used Kaizen foam um, for my, to hold my ratchets. I found this was the best way to deal with my ratchets, to keep it perfectly in line with this drawer, which has all the sockets. Um, so yeah, so I have, I have this Craftsman quarter inch. I have a few of the same quarter inches, but 
You know how it is. Um, I have a clutch quarter inch. Uh, Craftsman, honestly, like this one has been, is is really nice. Like it, it well made. Um, they're, you know, they're a new iteration of tools or whatever, but this one, um, here's, the, it's like a, yeah, it's an 84 tooth quarter inch. There's a part number if anybody's interested, but this is a nice little sleek little quarter inch uh, ratchet. Um, so yeah, and then I have Harbor Freights, um, of course, uh, quarter inch. That one is really, really nice as well. It's nice to have a little bit more torque, um, but I've also busted off <laughs> bolts with that. Um, and then I have Harbor Freights 3 8 um, adjustable head. Uh, this one is probably my go-to. Um, I usually find myself using that one all the time. Um, and then this one is another kind of swivel head. Um, it's nice if you know you have stuff that you want to zip out or whatever. You can use it like a screwdriver as well. Um, that is three A's. That one is made by Husky. You barely see it. Uh, what else we got? Oh, this one I got. Um, this is a Craftsman. Um, it is, um, what is it, a 30 degree bend um, and a 3 8 and also adjustable head. This is also kind of my go-to ratchet, but I recently got it, so I haven't used it that often. That's why it's so nice and shiny. <laughs> but um, yeah, here's the part number. This is also part of the new iteration. Um, yeah, Craftsman has a lifetime warranty, so what I did, I had an old, what, half-inch ratchet, and I went to Lowe's, returned it, got credit for it, and then upgraded to this guy. Paid a little bit extra and got this. So, yeah, this is, um, yeah, I just, I gotta use it more, but, um, and then I had, then this is also made by Husky. This is a pass-through wrench that I was talking about uh, earlier. So this is extremely convenient. You put, you know, these guys in there and then, yeah, that's what a pass-through is. So you can put an Allen in there or whatever the case may be um, to get that out. So that's really, for the most part, that's about it that I keep in the bottom. Um, some jacks, um, I had some Harbor Freight jacks, but uh, returned those due to warranty issues. And then just a box of miscellaneous stuff that I use. Um, what do I got in there? I got a few brushes, got some Goo Gone, got some PB Blaster, um, some panel removers, some, um, what are those? Uh, Multi-purpose wipes for like, j just degreasing wipes. Um, JB Weld, I'm in love with JB Weld. <laughs> I use this for everything. JB Weld is really good, but I keep a lot of my different uh, oils and, and lubricant, lubricant parts, stuff like that, uh, grease and whatever, all that stuff in here so that if I'm, you know, working on something and I need something quick, that's where I get it from. And that's about it guys. So that is my tool cart review. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this is a long video, um, but yeah, for some reason I have satisfaction in this. Uh, it's been, uh, an ever so changing uh, tool cart, but uh, I think it's it's done. I really like this system. Um, I like that, you know, that I've opened up that bay compared to having parts in there and then having, you know, almost everything accessible to it. I mean, you have your screwdrivers, your wrenches above, that sort of thing. So um, it's very convenient. Um, and then, you know, that side that side table helps because if you do have anything from the, the wrench drawer or the ratchet drawer, then you could just put it right back up there and you're good. You're good to go. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Put it in the comments below. Be sure to hit the notification. With these Lotus All mats, I will be doing a review on them. I'll show you some other convenient ways that, that these mats have kind of helped me around the garage. Let me know if, if you know any of these mods were helpful to you guys. Um, and with that being said, I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks again, guys. Peace.